hello there, and uh, welcome back to The Cooking Show. And on today's episode of The Cooking Show, I thought... Actually, to, to be real with you, I'm feeling a bit depressed at the moment, as you know, you can probably currently see them on the floor. Got me vices. We've got the rum, we've got the... Got the soy sauce bong, so... To keep me company, but like... The thing is, when it comes to depression and vices, the... Well, depression always wins. The vices, they never really, uh... Never really do their fucking job, to be honest, and... You know, here we are. Depressed. And on the floor. So, lately, my worries have been sort of... Structured and institutionalized in my brain. In a very confronting way, I'm just looking to, uh, flatten them out a bit, sort of, make sure the, the big imposing structure of my depression isn't really distracting me from all of life's joys. But you see, then I was thinking, and I know how much you love it when I think, what's not to be depressed about? Have you seen the state of the world lately? With predatory social media, microplastics in our bodies slowly creating some form of cancer, cancer, Big tech in combination with AI, that, you know, that could be pretty terrifying. America? Don't think I need to say anything more about America. The climate change problem and uh, the climate denial problem, you know, they're pretty, pretty depressing to think about. The wars, and then uh, the wars you don't hear of. Uh, the hospitality industry, I don't know if you, you've worked at Coles, but fuck, does that give you some mad fucking depression? And um, if it isn't fucking macro depressions, Probably some micro-depression. For instance, my micro-depression moments like anxiety and uh, friendships and relationships, uh, not being able to support myself, or, you know, not being able to support my, my vices, of course. The absolute state of my bathroom. Here's a quick look. Look, this is kind of like a confronting, sort of depressing, sad episode, and uh, we're not trying to be super depressing at all, it's just, you know, it's the, the cycle of the Ed Boy, is you know, big highs, super big lows, you know, that, that sort of thing. All I'm trying to say is there's a lot to be depressed about, you know, there's a, a lot of things to think about. Like, what you can do, right, because that depression is all over here and it's all in here, you, you can't really do anything about it. But what you can do is uh, distract yourself. So, without further ado, let's make... A depressed sandwich. You will need one, a knife. Two, a second knife. Three, you'll need a, a board. Next, you're gonna need some bread. This is actually some uh, Coles bread, like real quick while I've got you here. Um, see, normally I have nothing really good to say about Coles because, well, don't fucking deserve anything nice to be said about them. This uh, high fiber, low GI seven seeds and grain toasted loaf, 800 grams. It's actually fucking good. We need some butter, so I've got buttery nut legs, of course. I don't know about you, but I like lots of, uh, what's it, cold meats on my sandwiches. And as you can see, I've been eating a lot of my depression away. Cheese, gel. Jasberg cheese. This stuff is really good. It's really expensive, though, so... But, like, it's so fucking good. I know I try to make this channel, like, budget as fuck, but, like, you know, depression really makes you go for the good shit. Next, you will need... Your four leaf salad, lots of greens. Greens are great for depression. Finally, we're gonna get some tomatoes. They're great, I love tomatoes. All right, so let's uh, get started, shall we? I might fucking move you around here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bread, we're gonna get out two slices. And two slices is, is the traditional amount. Then we're gonna take our knife, we're gonna stick it into the nut legs. All right, so then we're gonna butter our bread and once it's nice and buttered, we'll then butter the other side of the bread. So once we've got our two bits of bread, we're gonna take our thing of meat. We're gonna open it up, and we're gonna spread out across meat on our sandwich. So next we're gonna get our uh, cheese. We're gonna open it up, cut ourselves off a slice, or two slices, depending on how fiendish we are. And we're just gonna put our cheese slice right there. Next, we're gonna get our tomatoes. So we're gonna take our tomato here, and we're gonna cut out. Next, we're gonna slice our tomato down, and we want some nice, thin slices. Mm, 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 that's thin. Salt, we're gonna, a little bit on top. Fucking just a little bit, please. That's good. Cracked pepper as well, and we're also gonna just get a little bit on top as well. Four leaf salad. On like a decent handful, I'm just gonna get like the whole bag and just sort of press it down. And uh, once it's pressed down, we can just easily put 
that on top. One last thing before we finish our sandwich, we're gonna take our knife, we're just gonna cut it into triangles. Yummy. And that's how you make a sandwich. But uh, we better taste the sandwich before we go anywhere. I thought we might eat in bed for this this episode of the cooking show. I'm just a bit, um, for one, it's fucking cold in Australia right now. That's one reason. I'm also a bit depressed, so I think I might just sleep my depression off. Before we leave you, I might just take a bit of this, uh, this sandwich. I have a little sandwich in bed before I go to bed. I can already feel my depression leaving me. And you thought the video was over. I fucking lied to you. You probably saw the thumbnail here and you, you were looking for a depressed sandwich. Well, we're gonna do, do the thumbnail here since I actually, I was gonna do it to your other sandwich, but I just, I just forgot. And now we're gonna depress our sandwich. There we go. One depressed sandwich.